Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I finally decided to film the Sunset Eyes tutorials. I did a snap tutorial on this look and a lot of you guys requested for like a full in depth tutorial and I was like, you guys ask, you guys will get it. So that is what I am filming today. If you want to learn how to achieve this look, then definitely keep on watching. And I just started my 400K giveaway. The link will be down below. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel to enter. There's a lot of goodies. So definitely check that out. And without further ado, let's get started. To start off, I'm going to begin by priming my face with the Smashbox Water Primer. Here as you can tell I was kind of sad because some of the jewels fell off of my headband, but it's okay. Now I'm going in with my Hourglass Stick Foundation in the shade Nude. You guys, if y'all have not tried this, you definitely need to. It's kind of on the pricey side, but it's definitely worth it. Everybody that has tried it, recommended by me, ends up loving it. It's literally like a new layer of skin. Like it's so weird, but it's super, super bomb. To conceal, I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair. Of course, you guys know I will never ever ever use any other concealer besides this one. To make my highlight pop further on the road when we add our highlight, I'm going to be adding the High Beam by Benefit. I honestly don't know why I stopped using this because it makes all the difference. After that, I'm going to be setting my face with the Airspun Translucent Powder. I need to get back to Laura Mercier. I'm only using this one because I ran out of that one. I mean, I like it, but then I don't like it. I have like a love-hate relationship with it, you get me? Yeah. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pressed Powder in the shade Classic Ivory. To bronze the face, I'm going to be going in with my Coco Contour Kit. You guys already know basically my face routine. It doesn't really switch up unless I find like a new product. And then for blush, I'm going in with um, Luminoso by Milani, one of the best blushes out there, not to mention it's drugstore, so it's super cheap. For this makeup look, we're going to be using the Take Me to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics, one of the best palettes out there. It's on sale right now, so go get it while you can. We're going to be starting off with this yellow shade, going into the crease with the Morphe E23 brush, and you're really going to want to build the color. It's super pigmented, but since I have really fair skin, it's kind of hard to build the color, so I'm just going to keep layering and blending. You really want to drag the color up by your brow bone because you want that color to peek through since we are going to be layering the color. So first it's going to be yellow, orange, and then purple. Then I'm going in with the orange shade with the Anastasia A10 brush. So I'm going to go in with that orange and just slightly drag it a bit up. Not too much because we want that gradient effect. Once that's all buffed out, I'm going to be going in with this Pro Primer by LA Girl. This will act as a base and it will make the purple stand out more. I will show you guys a comparison with and without the primer because you guys are going to see it's going to make all the difference. So like I said, I'm going to be taking this purple magenta color, but I'm going to be applying that on the lid first with a flat shader brush. And then I'm going to be going in with a blending brush just to buff out the colors and make it look seamless. You guys see the difference it makes. The purple doesn't really stand out as much as with the primer. It looks a little bit dull. You know, it's not as vibrant as with the primer. And then I'm gonna go in with a blending brush once I'm done patting that onto the lid, just so we can buff out the colors and make everything look seamless and beautiful. I'm gonna be going in with a little bit of orange one more time and blending that in with the purple because it creates kind of like a reddish color. I don't know how to explain it, but it makes it look like you used four colors instead of three. After that, just 
take a little bit more of that yellow and then blend everything one last time i know this was a lot of blending but girls this is how you get the perfect eyeshadow is blending blending is always the key now i'm going in with the mega liner by wet n wild you guys i used to be a hardcore fan of the nyc liner until they discontinued it which i was pretty pissed about but it is what it is but i found this one and this one is literally the same exact thing and it's super cheap so if you've been looking for a drugstore liner this one's perfect if you guys want me to do a specific tutorial on how to do eyeliner on hooded eyes give this video a thumbs up so i can know based off of that and then um also i forgot to, to tell you guys but i set my brow bone with just a regular white shade Then I quickly popped on some falsies. These are the same ones I used in my last tutorial, which was the Princess Crown tutorial or whatever. And these are in the style Bay by B Bella Cosmetics. And I am also gonna be repeating the same exact steps to the lower lash line, except I'm kinda gonna do it like reversed. So I'm first gonna be going in with orange and then yellow and then the purple color. And then I'm obviously gonna blend all of them together once I'm done with that. To complete the look, I'm going to be going in with my signature inner corner highlight, which is Crystal Avalanche by MAC. For highlight, I'm going to be going in with the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb Cosmetics. And on top of that, I'm going in with Champagne Bomb by Saucebox Cosmetics. You guys, no other highlighter can compare to this one. I literally replaced my Coco Bling, but it is what it is. This is my ride or die now. And after that, I'm going to be using a little bit of blush just to calm it down a bit because I felt like it was a little bit too bright and it looked a little bit too harsh. Now I'm lining my lips with the Makeup Forever Lip Pencil in the shade N13. And originally when I did this look on Snapchat, I did um, cranberry lips, but I had a super important meeting to go to after this that I cannot tell you guys about, but you guys should be super excited because I have a lot of big, big, big things in store for you guys. But um, like I said, you can either go with a cranberry lip or a nude lip like I'm doing here. I'm just going in with a Velvet Teddy by MAC. What Fix Plus does, it basically melts all the products into your face. That way it doesn't look powdery or cakey and it makes your makeup look fresh, nice, and dewy. That completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it because it was super requested. If you guys have not added me on Snapchat, definitely do because I post snap tutorials there all the time. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!